Okay, so if you are uh, running your own uh, library website and you want to be able to change some things, you're going to have to have the uh, permissions of a site admin. So I've got a user here um, that I've used before that I've given site admin permissions and uh, if you don't know how to do that um, you can ask somebody maybe me now you'll see this is one problem we we have with our system is that I just logged in but it doesn't think that I logged in so if you click log in again then it'll actually it uh, it works it shows that you've been logged in um, even though it's saying access denied here uh, you you actually are logged in and what we're going to look at today is how do you change these blocks on the side here. Um, the first thing is that this data is all coming from individual um, resources. So if you, if you have a resource and you look at the information tab, then it's going to show you some of the basic information, the language it's in, what subject or grade level, who created the resource. Um, and then the parent uh, uh, collection usually is, uh, in this case, we just uploaded some test videos, also is displayed here. So when you're searching or browsing content, that's what gets displayed in this left-hand column over here. Um, they're called facet blocks, and each one of these would be a, a facet. So let's say, for example, you wanted to change the, some of the subject areas. So what you can do is you can go up to um, this little menu and you say you want to let's see, uh, you have to say administer content management and then you've got two different op options here. Taxonomies are the um, the function in Drupal that we're using so a lot of stuff in Drupal you can do just through um, URLs. Sometimes there's menu options, but if you don't see the menu option you're looking for, um, the easiest thing to do is just um, put admin at the end of your site's URL. So in this case I'm at library.la.org and I just type slash, um, except I have to spell it right, admin. And it'll take you to the general administrative interface. Um, for the most part, you can ignore warnings like this. If you see them, they're uh, they're you know, not relevant usually. And here's a, you know here's a bunch of different kinds of things that you can do on the site. Um, and what we're looking for is taxonomy, which is the main functionality. And then there's taxonomy manager, which is an add-on module that makes it um, just gives you a different interface for editing um, taxonomies and that's the one we're going to use today. Um, so the basic page here gives you a list of different taxonomies the ability to add a new one. So for right now let's just say let's look at um, subject areas say in um, your school or your country you call these things something different so um, say language arts if you click on that then over here you can just change that text say you call it uh, just language and that changes changes it for the site so now if you go over here and you go to library .org, I'm just opening up a new tab so that I can stay on the editing page here, but then view the actual site. Um, then if you go down under subject areas, you see that this has changed. It used to say language arts, and now it says language. And subsequently, um, if you look at the, the subcategories of, of language here, um, Let's say we want to edit those. You just click the little plus sign and you see the other ones. Um, 
And some of these you may want to, you know, delete. Uh, you can you can select them. You can say uh, those aren't relevant to me. I'm going to delete them. Um, in this case, I don't want to actually delete them, but um, say you want to. You know, change English to English language. I don't know. You'll have to decide. But again, you know, you make that change here. You go back to the page and you refresh that page. Um, you'll see here it says English language instead of just English. So that's the basics of how you edit an existing um, taxonomy, and it'll show up on the home page. You can also, you know, if there's another subcategory you want to add, you can just say add a new one. Say let's call it uh, reading. Add that. And you can, as you see, there's a bunch of ones here. So in this case, it. Uh, I thought I was going to put it underneath language, but since it didn't, that'll give me a good example of how you can move stuff around. You can call the parent language, and then when you save that, There we go. I had the plus the add the plus sign. So as soon as I click the plus sign, it moved it up here under language under the language heading. So the other interface um, can be a little bit easier for adding child terms. Um, this is the standard interface that comes with Drupal, and again, you can go in here under list terms for the languages, and it'll show you all of diff different, uh, no we didn't want languages, we want uh, subject areas. So here it's the different subject areas, it shows the ones we created reading, uh, the changes we made, and here you can do the same thing, you can edit, edit these, it's just a little bit, you know, it takes a whole page load to, to edit them, um, but the advantage here is that if you want to add a term, you can type it in here. Say this is, uh, I don't know, uh, letters, uh, something that you'd study. And under advanced options, you can pick a parent term. So language would be um, the parent term we want, and click save. You can um, also move stuff around. So if you are back on the um, subject area page, this view, you can just grab when it turns into a hand, you can grab these and move them around. You can move things um, you know, out. So here we have um, writing, which was not in there. It should have been, so you can move that in. Um, you can move language arts down below. You, know, you can move stuff around or anywhere you want in hierarchy. Um, the one thing you have to do is all these changes won't take effect until you scroll down to the bottom here. It gives you that warning and say save. So those are the basics of um, of managing your taxonomies. the The one other thing that you can do is if you have um, you know, a spreadsheet, for example, with all the different terms that you wanted to um, use here, you can import them. I'll make another video about that later.